This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com. This week we had a very exciting development, that is that the U.S. Supreme Court is going to uh, hear the case um, brought by 26 states against the Obama administration, uh, specifically against the Obama Health Care Act. Um, this is a, a very big deal. It is a major constitutional case and it's going to have political implications because the case is going to be heard and then processed by the court and we will perhaps get a final decision by the court this summer, the summer of 2012, which will be right in the middle of the political campaign uh, for, for President and for Congress. Specifically what the court is uh, to decide is whether it is constitutional or not for Congress to have passed a law that will require all Americans to buy health care uh, insurance coverage or to have it provided uh, by their company. So the law basically says that all Americans must have some kind of health care and if people don't buy it for themselves and don't have any um, there will be a fine. So the question is whether Congress has the constitutional power and authority to mandate this. Some constitutional law experts say yes, because Congress requires you to pay Social Security taxes, for example, and Congress requires you to pay into Medicare. Um, and others say that this goes far beyond what the Constitution uh, allows Congress to do and that the Supreme Court may reverse this requirement. Um, one of the things that I've been reading this week is that um, depending on how the court rules, this could benefit the Obama administration, it could benefit the Republicans. Um, one problem is that a lot of Americans really, really like a piece of the Health Care Act, which is the prohibition to insurance companies against them um, denying a policy to people with a previous medical condition. A lot of Americans want to buy insurance, have health insurance, but they have some sort of medical uh, condition. And insurance companies in the past have often denied uh, those folks uh, a policy. This law makes it very difficult, if not impossible, for insurance companies to do that. And that's very popular. The other thing that's very popular is the piece of the law that allows young people to stay on their parents' health insurance up to, I think, the age of 26. Um, that's a new provision that makes it possible for young people who don't have a lot of money to buy health insurance, who may not be working in a job where they're getting any health insurance, to stay covered under their parents' insurance policy. So the Supreme Court has a dilemma, which is, should it completely reverse the Obama health care law? Should it reverse pieces of it, and if so, which pieces? And presumably it, it will be reluctant to reverse mandates that are already very popular. I haven't talked about this much, but I'm going to start talking about it with you right now. The other interesting thing is that the Obama Health Care Act is already creating major changes in health care provision and especially in the insurance industry in the United States. Um, the law phases in over time, but it already has precipitated a merger by insurance companies who are buying out smaller companies. It already has prompted states to begin to look for competitive insurance markets and for ways to essentially try to contain the cost of health care insurance um, to find more creative ways of funding things like like Medicaid, which is the insurance program for low-income people. And that process of redefining, reorganizing, and, and essentially addressing some of the problems with the current health care um, situation in the United States is already underway. I'm thinking that the Supreme Court may simply decide that it wants to wait a little bit longer to see what the outcomes are, how things evolve, what the arguments could be in the future, 
uh, rather than reversing the, the law and, and making it uh, basically nullifying the, the health care law. The other thing is I think the Supreme Court often is reluctant to reverse things that are very popular and that people like and find important in their lives. And so that's why I'm saying that we don't know who's going to benefit from a Supreme Court ruling. Is it going to be the Republicans? Is it going to be the Obama uh, administration and Democrats in general? So it'll be very interesting and it gives us now a long time frame between now and I think June of 2012 to follow the story of how the Supreme Court is approaching um, this health care uh, act. It's, it's very political in a sense because the Republicans want to do away with the law completely, and they've said if, the, if they're elected president, they will simply throw out the uh, Obama Health Care Act. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com.